So, okay, I think your question was uh, how I get from Afghanistan to Pakistan back in 1980. Yes. Okay, in 1980, uh, when we walked, like I told you, uh, uh, Rashi and Jeep took us to the Mujahideen Park. From there, uh, of course, we had to walk for four, four days and uh, walking on the very high mountain and uh, very dangerous places. I remember uh, one of the places uh, was bombed before we get there. And after I get there, I found uh, two little small shoes belonged to a child. And that was terrible. There was no child, of course. The child was gone. Uh, and that was very, very touchy. And, and, and uh, of course, that was really tough. So I was crying, actually, and just to see that little small shoes. And other thing was uh, when, when the sound of a uh, helicopter or, or uh, airplane was coming, all the animals were uh, trying to find a hole or trying to get together. Uh, still in Afghanistan, any American airplane is uh, passing by a village, all animals are getting together. That is the experience of animals do during the war. That is the, the, the war result. So even animals can notice the danger. So that was another thing. And uh, most of uh, the time, we couldn't find the food during these three or four days when we were walking. I remember one time uh, we spent the night in the mosque and I was willing to pay to, to get a goat or a chicken or a lamb, something to eat. And I was offering good money for it, but there wasn't anything. So that means the village didn't have anything to, to offer. So there was not even bread there to just eat something. Just, you know, a little bit of stove, I mean, dry fruit that we had and uh, spring water, just use that, and, and drink water, and we spend the night, and of course there was fear, because you, you never know when the Russian helicopter is going to come and bomb the whole village. The difference between American and uh, uh, Russian was, because Russian was uh, doing the bombardment, just, just do the bombing, uh, regardless who is going to get killed. And there was no reconstruction team, but uh, the difference between Americans and Russian, Americans going, first of all, finding the right place where the insurgents are and bombing that place. And the, immediately the next day they are checking if, if any of the casualty happened to the civilian side. And they are trying to help the families, trying to do the reconstruction for them if, if anything, any mosque, any school was damaged. But the, the, in Russian case, that was not the case. I mean, just bomb and, and demolish and leave and, uh, and then go back. So that was the case. Uh, so I had really tough time walking from Afghanistan to Pakistan. When, when, when we get to Pakistan, I remember, you know, my feet was, you know, I mean, really swollen uh, because of walking and all that. That was really tough, not only because of the body work of walking and everything, because of the fear. You never know who's going to do what to you. Uh, I believe that was it. I mean, yeah. That was really dangerous.